All right. Here is the 10th breakdown of another of another client result. You can see it right here. I'm going to hop right into it. It was Mason who sent me this message. You can read it. I highlighted a cool pit, a cool part in red if you just want to read that. It says, um, I did stutter here and there, but when I did, there was no tinge of embarrassment or panic. And what I want to break down is how that is actually what you're going after. Like, I want to restructure your brain right now to understanding that it's not about gaining fluency. And you already know that, but even though you already fucking know that, most likely you're still judging your progress on your speech, of your speech, based upon how fluent you're being. And I'm willing to bet that's what you're doing. Like, I'm overcoming my stutter if I'm stuttering less. Fuck that shit. Like, <laughs> I've explained that why so many times it doesn't make any sense. Um, just quickly again is because you will stutter the most inside the situations that are most fearful for you and most uncomfortable for you and if you are avoiding those situations or if you're not stuttering in those situations you're clearly fucking hiding you're clearly rep repressing your true self and you're not allowing yourself to really open up and be free you must stutter to overcome your stutter. You must go into those interactions and be able to stutter and still feel like you have self-worth and still feel like you, need, you can be yourself and still feel like people love you and you're lovable and people respect you still. You need to feel that. And if you are hiding away, away from your stutter or you don't stutter and you use tricks and techniques to hide your stutter, you will never, never give yourself the opportunity to prove to your brain that it's safe to stutter. And once you believe it's safe to stutter, you won't stutter barely at all anymore. But not because you focus on the stutter, because you focused on this. And what this is, is what Mason shared with me, was the emotions you feel when you stutter. You know you're making progress when you're feeling less shame, when you're feeling less embarrassment, when you're feel, feeling less frustration when you stutter. When you have more acceptance of yourself and compassion and empathy and love for yourself even when you stutter. And when you make that your goal, the goal isn't fluent. The goal is to be more loving to myself when I stutter. Like that just makes me feel so fucking good because that's in your control. Not right now, but the more you take action with the right mindsets and with the right intentions, the more you will be able to love yourself when you stutter. And when you feel this, when you fucking feel this inside of you that, holy shit, I just stuttered in a group or to my friend and I would normally beat myself up and feel like I have to quiet down and feel like I have to stop talking now. But I didn't feel any of that or even I felt a lot less than that. That is going to be so empowering to you. That's going to make you feel so fucking good because what will happen then is you will start to stutter less because your stutter is only going to continue to be there when you want to resist it, when you want to push it away. It's only what you resist, pers what you resist persists. So when you're okay with it and there's nothing to resist about it because you know if you stutter, you're not going to freak out. You're not going to be put in a panic state. You're not going to feel all this embarrassment. You know you're going to stutter and feel completely fucking fine. What is there to resist? If you, like this is a mindset that I have that I truly, be I truly believe that if I stutter in front of a girl when I first meet her or even when I'm dating her, She's going to be so fucking attracted to me. And this isn't like an incantation I had to fucking burn into my brain or affirmation I had to burn into my brain. This is just something that I've seen that people are much more attracted to me when I'm open and when I can stutter freely. And imagine having this mindset. You would have nothing to resist. You would have nothing to fear. Just fucking imagine that. Imagine knowing that if I stutter, they're going to be so fucking attract, attracted, to, attracted to me. That's going to change the way you stutter. 
that's going to change the way you feel about it. That's going to change the the bad part about your stutter, which is resisting it and pushing through it and trying to act like it's not there and repressing a version of yourself. All right? So I just want to share how this is the actual path. It's not about fluency, but it's about focusing on the right objectives you must address that is actually in your control, making small goals so you can actually see how you can achieve them. There's a bunch of flies around me and tracking your progress with somebody who's been through the process before you, like me, and knows exactly what you're going through and knows exactly what you need to go through. So again, if this is something you want to address authentically and not focus on the speech techniques or fluency, but you actually want the real, the real path to overcome stuttering authentically where you can be yourself, just like when you're in a bedroom and you're free flowing and you're not thinking, you're just expressing yourself like a child or like a stoic man, however you want, it'll be in your, in your capacity because you address this authentically and you have built self-love and self-trust within yourself so you can feel safe to express yourself however the fuck you want to express yourself. If you want to address this, I'm speaking very fast today. I want, I want to make this video short. But if you want to address this authentically, you can look at the closest link down below in the description. Right now, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one again. So if you want to book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me, we can see if we'd be a good fit to work together. Look at the closest link down below in the description, and we'll see if we would be a good fit to work together with a quick 15-minute call. All right. I love you. I hope to speak to you soon, see you soon, and possibly work with you soon. All right. See you soon. Peace.